As the state prepares to receive 400 newly arrived refugees from Afghanistan, a new nonprofit organization is partnering with the CSI Refugee Center to help make that resettling process much easier. I spoke with Everybody House about how they are hoping to help refugees arriving to the Magic Valley. Just like any of us who move to a new place, uh, there's a lot you got to figure out when you move someplace new. Where do you go to get your driver's license? How does this process work? All these different things. And Everybody House is working with the CSI Refugee Office to make this process easier for refugees by connecting them with community members for support. We came up with the Phone Friends program uh, to offer people a way to safely build these friendships uh, at their own comfort level. So uh, for many people, the idea of, of meeting you know, in person isn't just a safe idea yet. With, uh, with the Delta variant and the hospitals and crisis standards of care, having a, a socially distanced option to build those friendships was great. Community members will be able to have a phone call with newly arrived refugees once a week to help them better their English skills and learn other skills that will help them through the resettling process. We also wanted people uh, to have other ways to get involved, and that's why we came up with the donations that will allow us to meet those immediate needs that uh, aren't being able to be met uh, by the resources allocated at a monthly level. Uh, you know, surprise needs come up for everyone. And uh, The Idaho Office of Refugees is expecting to resettle 400 Afghan refugees within the next fiscal year, some of which will be resettled in Boise and some in Twin Falls. So many people, I think every day somebody reaches out wanting to help, wanting to know how they can be involved. Uh, we also have people who resettled here years ago who are now saying, I'll have them over for a meal from our shared culture. We know the language. We'll kind of give them that initial like, hey, you're not alone here. In 2016, Idaho had over 1,000 refugees resettle into the GEM state, but that number decreased by almost 50 percent after the Trump administration lowered the number of refugees allowed into the country. I think if you look at Idaho's history, our, our legacy of resettlement goes back decades to the 70s. And even before we had an official program, Idahoans were saying, you know, they were seeing a crisis going on and they were saying, we have the capacity to help. We live in a safe place. Um, some people weren't so lucky that their home is still safe for them. And it could have happened to any one of us. Everybody House is encouraging those who speak multiple languages to take part in their Phone Friends program to help other refugees feel more welcome in the Magic Valley. The language barriers are, are real. They're large. And if any of you have, uh, you know, mo bilingual or multilingual skills, man, that's helpful for, for uh, getting us here. But right when people land, uh, you know, here in our community, they're, they're in English classes regularly. They're building these skills. And so very quickly, uh, that barrier becomes something that can be overcome. If you would like to learn more about the Phone Friends program and how you can get involved, visit our website, idahonews6.com. In Twin Falls, Stephanie Garibay, Idaho News 6.